Tommy, you've had a fortnight's break now and looking ahead to the match against Hudiput on Saturday, do you think now it's time for Quakers to kick off? Yeah, it is. Um, no, dis- like, no disrespect at all to Hereford because I think in this league prove has is- been proven time and time again. Anybody can beat anybody, but they're in a horrible run of form. We built a little bit of momentum before this break, so we need to pick up the pieces. We need to start well. Um, hopefully, not rusty, um, not being lethargic. I want a fast start, so that would be something that we, we try and implement tonight. Working on a little bit of scenario stuff, um, hopefully taking that into Saturday and to give a good account of ourselves. Unbeaten in five matches, <coughs> picked up nine points, but it could have been three or six more, couldn't it? Yeah, you know, I've said it. It, it could, it should have. You know, let's not let's not beat around the bush. It could have been, but it should have been. Um, it wasn't. We've we're playing catch up anyway. We've dropped points uh, further than five five games ago you know reality, reality is yeah maybe four points maybe six points drop but the reality is that's six on to top of what another six we shouldn't be where we are we should be hard at the table we, we, we're not and it's up to us to obviously get the points on the board and make up for last time for the guys again there were two or three of the lads carrying injuries there were one or two that uh, weren't feeling 100% uh, yeah. but book wise how, how are they shaping up now are they fine now yeah, don't jinx it. Everyone, <laughs> everyone going into tonight is fit and available for the weekend. So, no illnesses to report, no injuries uh, to report. The ones that were injured are back in training this evening. So, hopefully, they'll come through that, and um, I w- this whole interview won't be pointless. I, I do genuinely think everyone will be available, and that's pending getting through the session. And it gives you a nice dilemma now, doesn't it? <coughs> because, uh, for example, you've got two people to choose from in goal Johnny Madison's fit again, along with the young lad Zach Emmon. Yeah, well, Johnny didn't train on Tuesday. He, he trained with he trained with the physio. So the reality is tonight he's coming back in for the first time in a couple of weeks. Zach's done really well, so Zach will play Saturday. Not going to um, leave that fifty-fifty. Zach's playing Saturday. Simple as that. Uh, ben O'Hanlon comes in tonight. Ben coming coming through the session might give me something to think about. But you know, Dave Size has been in great form. Uh, Angie hasn't trained in two weeks um, since he came off in the game, so there's there's little little selection dilemmas in there. Um, but it's over to the boys. You know, some of them have trained really really well in the in the last fortnight without a game, and um, say so it hasn't gone unnoticed. And it, it does give me food for thought. Yeah. Hereford have had a bad run. Everybody knows that, but a bad run's got to end sometime, hasn't it? Yeah, and, it hopefully, has. and hopefully it won't be on Saturday. Yeah, it has. And, you know, we've played against teams that have been in bad runs, and yeah. And you almost want to get through it uh, unscathed, and a bit like you said, a bad run's got to come a point. And you know, we we were in the middle of a bad run last season. You know, we were down against Leamington, we won three two. Things can happen in football, and they quickly turn. Uh, confidence is massive. They'll win a game at some point, and they'll kick on. Let's just hope it's not Saturday. But Quakers themselves coming to the game in a better frame of mind compared to say a month ago before uh, the away game at FC United. Yeah, the lads, the lads are bouncing on the ball, are bouncing off the walls. You know, they were chomping at the bit. Um, they would have wanted to play last Saturday, but the reality was, we did. But looking on it and reflecting on it, it probably was this break's probably come at the right time for us because it's allowed a couple of the injured lads to be available, and the illnesses to clear up, and a couple of the tired legs and, and niggles that we had to, to clear up. So, lads look bright in training. Um, let's say we'll build on that again tonight, going into the weekend, and hopefully we can pick up where we left off. Yeah, it'll be great to pick up a home win and put on a great show for the for the fans ahead of what's going to be a busy schedule. Yeah, you know, obviously we've had to with the Friday night game next week. We've had to um, think about training for obviously next week, but you know we've got we've got a big game to play um, before that. So we're going to Saturday. We're only thinking about Erith. We're not thinking about Telford just yet. So let's go and get we can get the three points and then we can build on it. Not loads of positive positivity for next week.